Listen, alcohol is just out in 2024. There is a rising trend of going alcohol-free or being sober curious, and alcohol the truth is, it's just bad for you and can famously impair your sex life. So if you're looking for another way to unwind, relax, or just have fun, I cannot recommend Vaya's THC gummies enough. Vaya has gummies for every occasion, whether it's to improve your sleep. I love their sleep gummies. I take them everywhere. Your mood or your focus. They even have an aphrodisiac gummy called High Love to boost my arousal levels. High Love has a unique blend of cannabinoids and aphrodisiac exotic herbs that are known for their libido enhancing effects. So I've been using Vaya for a while now and I absolutely love them. They're a super trusted company. They use premium hemp, natural ingredients, and they're known for their premium indoor THCA flower. All their products are made here in the U.S. They got quick and discreet shipping to all 50 states so you can all enjoy them, not to worry, and also super affordable. So head over to viahemp.com and use code EMILY at checkout to save 15% off your order. That's V-I-I-A-H-E-M-P.com. Use code EMILY at checkout for 15% off your order and let me know what you think. Urinary tract infections are extremely common. Around 1 in 2 women and 1 in 20 men will get a UTI in their lifetime. Plus, once you've had one UT challenge, you're way more susceptible to another in the future. That's why you just need Just Thrive's UT123. This product can actually prevent UTIs while maintaining your urinary tract health. UT123 targets both immediate and long-term relief. We've all heard to drink cranberry juice for your urinary tract, but did you know that for the full effects, you need the whole cranberry? Not just juice, but the skin, flesh, and even the seeds. Well, UT123 uses superior ingredients that utilizes the whole fruit. This supplement truly is the full package. So if you're someone who struggles with the constant urge to urinate, a burning feeling when you pee, pelvic pain, or just want to be proactive in your urinary health, Just Thrive is for you. Just Thrive is so confident you'll love their product that there is a 100% money-back guarantee on every purchase made through JustThriveHealth.com. And for a limited time, you can save 20% off site-wide at JustThriveHealth.com with promo code SEXWITHEMILY. That's JustThriveHealth.com and use code SEXWITHEMILY for 20% off your order. You're going to love it. Thanks for listening to Sex with Emily. Better relationships equal better sex. Sinclair Institute, the leader in sex education products for adults, has been saying it for over 20 years. I've seen some of their DVDs, and I highly recommend them. Find Sinclair's ad on my products page on my website, sexwithemily.com, and save 50% off any one item when you put in Emily50 at checkout. Enjoy the show. I promise your sex life will improve. You got a boyfriend? Because uh, my man E here, he just got his heart broken. He thinks you're kind of cute. The girl's got to have her standards. Oh, my. Do women know about shrinkage? Isn't it common knowledge? What do you mean? Like laundry? It shrinks? Can we not talk about sex so much? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I feel so good. Being bad feels pretty good. But you know, Emily's not the kind of girl you just play with. to Sex with Emily. We're talking about sex relationships and everything in between. For more information about Sex with Emily, go to sexwithemily.com where you can listen to our podcast, sign up for our mailing list, buy sex toys, and do all that fun stuff. Also, please subscribe to our RSS feed so you'll never miss another Sex with Emily show. As you know, we're doing more shows now. We're doing three to four shows a week. This is what we call a quickie episode. And um, I'm so excited to have my guest here, Sarah Miller. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hi. That was a very sexy hello. <laughs> Sarah, I met in sex school. And as you know, I'm in grad school right now for sex. And Sarah is one of my buddies from class. She is a dominatrix. Mm-hmm. She is into a lot of kinky stuff. And she's going to talk to us about it right now. And at first, I want to start with, oh, first, we have a word from our advertiser. Yeah. Adam and Eve. Okay, so as you know, I could never, ever have enough sex toys. So whenever there's a huge discount, I totally jump at the chance to get that toy. So any toy you've been wanting to get, Hitachi Magic Wand, even a pocket rocket, whatever. Sarah, what's your favorite sex toy? The Rock Chick, actually. I don't know if they... 
I don't know it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you, they're offering 50% off most items to all you loyal Sex with Emily listeners, and they'll even throw in three adult DVDs, plus a free gift, plus free shipping. Shipping. So just go to adamneve.com, enter coupon code EMILY at checkout. It's so easy. So just take advantage of this deal and finally buy that sex toy already. Please. Okay, Sarah, what up? <laughs> I love Sarah. Okay, so Sarah, tell me about, okay, so tell me, so you, how do you identify sexually? <laughs> Sexually, uh, you know, I, I, all encompassing. I'm a queer feminist pervert. Okay, that's how I identify. Got it. So you're with men, women. I'm with yeah, everyone, mm-hmm. everyone. Okay, pretty much. Hopefully. So let's go back in time. Okay. What was your first sexual memory experience? The first time you remember getting turned on. First time I remember getting turned on, or just having a sexual Jeez. feeling. Yeah, when I was really, really little. Either like watching tv i don't know i remember um i remember masturbating probably when i was like either fifth grade or younger i don't know how old that is how old okay is that? like you know yeah like 10 or 9 or something. No, like, and then you masturbated and did you have an orgasm yeah. oh yeah mm-hmm. you did just mm-hmm. by touching yourself mm-hmm. bitch <laughs> so and then you um so clitorally or did oh, you oh yeah well see i could oh back you know when you were a kid like you could touch yourself outside of your underwear and have an orgasm yeah it was incredible yeah, yeah. i heard about that <laughs> Um, that didn't happen to me, no, but, no, um, no, so okay. you remember that. And then were you with, when did you have sex, intercourse, PV sex, whatever PV you sex? Call it? Yeah. What if, like, what if it was just a tip? A tip of a, a tip just of a tip, penis? You know, you know how you used to like be like, oh, here's the tip. Ouch. Oh yeah. no. And yeah. then you don't. <laughs> so that first time. Yeah. Uh, I think I was like 15. You were 15. Yeah. And was it a good experience? Just a tip? Oh yeah. It was really, well, it was really hot. And yeah, it was really hot. And it was with a guy. Um, it was with a guy. Obviously. Cause mm-hmm. it was a tip. Yeah. It was tip. Tip with the penis. But you know, it was like, it's kind of like, oh, stick it in. Oh no, not really. Uh, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah kind and of the back was, and forth. Am I ready to really do hot. it? Well, right. it wasn't even, it was just like, it kind of hurt. And so that's when you knew you went a little bit far. You were like, uh, I don't know, whatever. Right. Okay. So, yeah. so and then what about, um, so when did you first experiment with women? Ah, uh, I think I've always been a little bit playfully with like playful with women. Um, though I did miss out on the, I told you like I missed out on the hot little sex capades of little girls. Um, probably the first kiss, my first kiss with a chick was probably when I was 15 too, actually. Okay. Yeah. And then you, when awesome. did you progress? Was it, so that was awesome. That was awesome. That, that was, was awesome. Like, I was like bragging about it. Like I was like, guys, look at, look at what we're doing. We're girls and we're kissing. Ha huh? Like, yeah. And how does your family feel about it? Do they know? Oh, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care really care about anything. Yeah, they're really? Like, they're just kind of accept. They just accept you for. No, no, no. There's a difference between accepting and just not giving a shit about right. it. <laughs> exactly. Because your life is, I mean, you're really. So you, where do you live? Uh, Denver. Denver. You live Denver, in Denver. Colorado. And so you, and so for a living, you are, you've been a pro dom, mm-hmm. an atrix. Mm-hmm. And what else do you do? You do education. I do victim advocacy. Um, I do yeah, gynecologic teaching. So I teach medical students how to do pelvic and breast exams. Just and they kidding. do mine. Oh, you just kidding? Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I get hundreds of exams. So a you year. must be really healthy. You must have a really healthy pelvic area. I mean, I've been checking. See, oh, this is here's part of the reason I've been doing so many self exams. We were just talking about doing, looking at our own pussies or whatever. Because I encountered, or I had a partner who has. Um, genital warts so I've been looking like every day just wow. to like because I'm kind of a little freaked out did you Not just find out, out that she or he he you just found out that he had him he didn't tell you or no or no, actually she sorry she oh you forget oh god oh I need to get spanked for messing with the pronoun no it's pronoun <laughs> gender so male-bodied female identified okay but not trans it's anyway um yeah so no no I knew no I knew um but so you've been checking. Yeah. I've okay. Been checking. Thank God. So, okay. So let's <laughs> talk about sex with women. Okay? okay. Let's talk about you. What, okay. So what do you think, what have you learned about women's bodies? Like, what's it like, what's like a tip that you can give, for example, performing oral sex? Is there any like special things that you could teach someone if they want to know about how, I always feel like men could learn a lot from women. Oh, for sure. Like going down on other women. Like what, what, oh. what are some tips that you, you know what though? Here's the thing is I can tell you a lot of stuff based on the things that I've gotten done to me. But sometimes when you get like a post in your face, it's like you get stage fright. Sometimes you never, you get stage fright. Yeah. I know. I, I don't use. Okay. Crap. I'm digging a hole now, but I have, there's been times where I've been like, oh, what a, Shit. Oh, fuck. I think that a I, lot of men feel that. Well, and because women are so drastically different from each other. So I have, you know, there's women who love to get like their clitoral, like their clitoris sucked or like flicked or, you know, hit or whatever. Um, so I think, you know, I personally love 
if somebody's doing oral sex. Yeah. What do, do you finger, like? Getting fingered at the same time. So love it. Finger and licking mm-hmm. at the same time. Yeah. And and don't just I don't know. Don't just kind of like lick. Like don't just kind of lick with your tongue. Like get all up in there. You know, stick your face in there. Nose, everything. Just rub it all. Right. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. What else? Like you love it. Okay. Li- lick. So okay. finger. So finger's good. So you could have like a do you have or do you have orgasm? How do you have orgasm? Clitorally or G spot or both. Yeah, both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, they're different for me. So I can come a lot with a like you know with G spot stimulation. I can ejaculate, which is a different sensation than coming, which is a different sensation sensation than like clitoral orgasms. So a clitoral orgasm, I can be spent, like I can be satisfied, but I can come multiple times from G spot stimulation, but I'm not fully satisfied yet. Right. Okay. Sense? Yeah, that makes but sense. But I can have, but I can have multiple clitoral orgasms in a row. But if I can also have just one and be like, cool. Right. You know? Okay. Got it. So, mm-hmm. what about the female ejaculation? That comes up a lot on the show. So, how, you you had a, you taught yourself how to do it, or you learned? You think that you learned more through our class? Well, no, no, no. I no. I, so I've known a lot about female ejaculation. How to like you know practicing right. and practicing, and you, know, you always kind of like you always try for it, and it's always like oh, it's just not happening. So we, you know, we did our class and we got naked, and um, there was we a, talk about this in the next show that you'll, you'll hear. We're, we're yeah. going to get into class more. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, but like you get, we, we got rid of our body image issues. So anything, you know, like if I felt like I was fat or ugly, whatever, like I got over it. Um, and when I went home, I actually also had a couple new partners. So that might've been it as well. And <laughs> some experienced partners, but having that total, you know, freedom and none of those inhibitions, you know, like I wasn't scared about how I looked or whatever, whatever. And I just let go. And, uh, I was a partner who was very talented and I just ejaculated like, buckets it was great wow oh, yeah and now i can do it i've actually i've had two different partners who have made me ejaculate on command it's wow. the weirdest how what do you mean on weirdest command? Shit. like three two one now and i will like with stimulation like they'll be stimulating me and they're like okay and you're gonna do it right now wow like you can feel it when it's starting to build right. up but i mean the actual release and it's a lot that coming. comes out right it's like wets the yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it, it does exist. Yeah, <laughs> I know. No, it I've had it. It can be a lot. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've had that experience. Yeah. I mean, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So, what about, um, so personally for you, what would you say is like the thing that turned you on the most? If you had anything, if you had to be like, God, that, that was, or like if you think back to your most like hottest sex experience, I'm sure you've had many. What do you think? Um, there's a few, I guess. There's a lot of things. I love, yeah, a lot is good. I love group, group sex. Group sex. How many people Huge. in the group? Um, the more the merrier, the more the merrier. We've been having orgies at my house every Friday. <laughs> really? So yeah, about anywhere from three to six, seven people. And then how does that exactly break down? How does that work? Like I've mechanic? never had an orgy with six or seven people. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, well, so yeah, I mean, it can be, I, it, usually we start out with like, gr- you know, group massage and things like that. So we'll all maybe massage one person and then it just kind of gets freakier and freakier from there. So, um, for instance, like. We ha- oh, okay, so we had we had a new woman actually come uh, this last time or whatever that we did it, and so a guy was going was eating her out while I was fingering her, and somebody was fingering me at the same time, and then other people were just kind of like rubbing up on us or doing whatever, and then when that kind of broke up, then you know, two girls got on one guy or went around the couch, and then I was fucking somebody else while they were like you know, so it's kind of and yeah, you're with changing. men and women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's all the same. It's all it feels good. Oh, it's to- yeah, it's totally fluid. It's it's crazy. It's it's yeah, it's absolutely fluid. It's all just about the enjoyment and pleasure. Doesn't matter who's doing it. <laughs> that's that's amazing that you can do that. A lot of people like are not able to do that. So are there men, they're gay men. There um, too. There are. They're actually yeah, I have a friend um my the the queen to my king to me being the king. Um he is is gay and I was actually kind of his most cisgender experience like his closest female identified female bodied experience sexual experience what happened what did he do to you well I actually was fucking his knee <laughs> <laughs> um, while he was getting butt fucked on top of me wow that was amazing and, and no and I've I've sucked his dick um and stuff like that so okay yeah and then he, did he orgasm no no not yet Okay. Not all over Got my it. Face. That's fun. you've crazy life there in Denver. So yeah, Ted's talk about okay, we talked about this a little bit, but the, but you're so you're pro dom and you get like I picture you like in the vinyl and doing mm-hmm. things. And so and it's men is it the kind oh no no, this is what I want to talk about because we talked about this actually a little later, but on your um on your personal life, mm-hmm. your personal like relationships that you're in, are you is it always 
Are you always in the power play? Are you doing that? No, no. no I, just, I, and that's the thing. I think personally, like if I, there's so many times where I just crave, like just, just give me like, just let's just fuck like regular good old sex. And I think, I think other people are actually put off more by me do, being so kinky that they feel like they have to step it up and make it kinkier or something. Right. But then sometimes if I want to be kinky, they don't know how to be. It's really, it's kind of annoying um, to find the balance of things. Right. Sometimes I'm like, well, there's probably a lot of expectations, like looking yeah. at you, knowing you being like, oh, she's expecting this. And yeah. so they just want to be more organic yeah. and fluid. Yeah. Or they're right? expecting me to dominate them when I'm like, no, just, okay, here's, I'm going to dominate you. Like sit there and I don't know, you know, like it's, yeah, there's a lot of expectation and I don't know. Um, but there, there is a lot of good stuff and like, you know, I don't know. I think most of my sexual experiences, I probably have face slapping and spitting and spanking. Are you doing the face, the spitting and the face slapping? It's mutual. Yeah. Mutual. Mm -hmm. And and it turns you on. So explain that to me. So explain to me, like, if someone slaps you, where it turns you on? Um, uh, Spanking, I think, is probably the thing that turns me on the most. Yeah. Sometimes, like, getting your tits hit. Sometimes. Um, I really like to wrestle. So, of course, like, the the number one fantasy for women is rape Rape, fantasies, right? Rape fantasy. Um, so I definitely, I do really like the power play. I love wrestling. If that, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's hot with women and men, whoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever. I, well, with men, mostly with women, oh, it's weird. I feel like I just have more respect for women or something. No, no, not respect. Um, but I, I, I care more like about not hurting women in general. Right. It's kind of weird. That's not true. Actually. <laughs> I, I do, but I've definitely got. We break really it down. You've done it all, with chicks. Right? Exactly. It just depends on the chick. Sometimes they are like dominate me. Okay. Yeah. So Sarah and I are in this class together, which we talk about in the next show, which you're listening to. Is that? But we talk about um, our class and all the stuff that we've had to do. So everyone in class, like, I mean, everyone comes and brings their different perspective. But is everyone like sleeping together too? That I didn't know about or no? <laughs> no. Um, mm, I feel like I'm surprised yeah. there's not like a class orgy or anything. Well, hmm. there has been, and there I missed been. it. Not cl- like an entire class orgy, um, but we've definitely done sexual play and stuff like that with each other in different ways. Um, you know, they're not en- as not as much as I would expect. Most of the chicks in our class, unfortunately, are monogamous relationships or they're hetero. So right. I've had a lot of chicks who are kind of like, "Ooh, Sarah, you know, maybe not, maybe," and they're like clit teasing me, and it's kind of they clit it's tease annoying. you. I like you that. guys. Stop it. Stop clit teasing Sarah. <laughs> <Or just> put <laughs> out. out. <laughs> okay, so what would be your if you had to tell men like what, what would you think of the men that you've been with? Are there any things that repeatedly happen that you're like, I wish that guys wouldn't do blank? Like, what do you think they need to know? If you could send a message to all men in the world, all men in the world, communicate. Just communicate. Just ask what you need to ask. Tell what you need to tell, and communicate sexually. Every, yeah, sexually. If you wanna, if you wanna stick something in my ass, just ask. Just ask. Don't do it. Just ask. Just first. ask. Yeah. Just. I mean, and that's the thing is, it's never tr- okay. That would be, I think, number one. Is, yeah, communication. I mean, tell me what you want. Scream. I would when you're say coming. communication is lubrication. Oh yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That and put a condom on. Just put a condom. On. Put a condom. It's on. not that freaking hard. Right. Fucking. That's the sexiest thing. It's so sexy to me when it's like I'm gonna put this condom on, you know, and you can. Oh, right. Hot. You have to. You have to hot. use condoms. Yes. People don't. People. It amazes me. There was a study that came out last week that said like Americans don't use condoms. It's disgusting. And it's it's the biggest turn off. I had I had a guy recently who emailed me and he was like, you know, I just condoms suck. And uh, you know, my response was just like, no. They don't. Right. They I hate rock. when guys are like condoms are bad. Uh, they hurt. I don't feel. Yeah, I can't feel anything. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. You're right. That's Liar. a good one. Anything else for men? So what about men? And what about. OK, we talked about oral sex. Is there anything? What about when you're with a woman? Is there anything like a woman can do that really turns you on or that you or your biggest mm. turn off? Or on? I think I think um, assertiveness, like assert- assertiveness and being kind of like not necessarily aggressive, but. Sex is, I mean, sex is like running a marathon. It should be like, you should be tired afterwards. Like you should, you should be able to have sex for a couple of hours and just have some endurance. You Every know, time? Put some, oh yeah. Put some work Who's into it. time? Girl. I'm so busy. Girl, okay. just, you don't even look at your pussy. That's how busy you need to, come on. I mean, but put some, put some I look at it, it sometimes. That was one of our oh homework God. assignments. We had to look at our vaginas, take a picture of it or like draw it and mm-hmm. stuff. Which is interesting for sex school. <laughs> okay, so any last? So and you're also we got into this more uh, dominatrix. So you do that and you do the dom, and I want to mm-hmm. see you dressed up Ooh. in your garb. Sure. Do you have I it don't... with you? Um, I have a corset with me, but I don't have. 
much. So I have stuff online. I can show you some pictures online and stuff. Oh, I'd love to see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyone can check. Where can they find you? What's your website? Um, or so what's your best place? I know you don't have a website uh, yet, but for I mean, for that kind of stuff, I'd say Lady Bandita um, on Fet Life. Fet Life, and so, we'll have a picture yeah. of you on the site. Oh, as well, we great. will. Oh, we're gonna take a picture here. Nice. Okay, everyone. Well, thank you so much, Sarah, for joining me yes, and sharing you. your sexual exploits. And thanks everyone for listening to Sex with Emily. Was it good for you? Email me feedback at sexwithemily.com. You've been listening to Sex with Emily with your host, Emily Morris. Have a question about sex, relationships, or anything in between? Email Emily at feedback at sexwithemily.com. Want to add Emily to your Facebook or Twitter page? Visit Emily's website, sexwithemily.com, where you'll also find the latest Sex with Emily news and podcasts. Archive podcasts can be downloaded from iTunes. From the Stitcher Studios in beautiful San Francisco, California, you've been listening to Sex with Emily. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to Sex with Emily. Remember, your biggest sex organ is your brain, so learn something new to do in bed. Click on the Sinclair Institute ad on my website and check out their adult sex education DVDs, sex toys, adult DVDs, and other sexy products. You'll save 50% on any Sinclair item when you put in Emily50 at checkout. 